Welcome to the Lee Etzler Show, a weekly wrap-up and analysis of Terrabusco High School football. And now your host, Big Daddy Don Hyatt. Hi, welcome to Lee Etzler's show. I'm Don Hyatt. This week we'll be talking with Coach about the Eagles' convincing 58-14 regional championship win over Hagerstown. The win is Busco's second regional title in four seasons and brings the record to 12-1 for the season. The Eagles travel this Friday to Lafayette where they'll play defending state champion Central Catholic. We'll also be joined by senior defensive players Justin Turnbow and Jeremy Forker. So stick around, we'll be right back after this. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. Welcome back. We're here talking to Coach about the Eagles' 58-14 regional championship win over Hagerstown. Lee, your team played a great game and just totally dominated the Tigers. Yeah, got out to a, a pretty good start and uh, thought from the first snap of the game, played fast. And, uh, you know, when you play fast, good things are going to happen for you. When you play fast on defense, you're going to put the uh, – the other team's offense in a situation where they can make mistakes, and I, I think that's what happened Friday. Um, you know, we, we uh, kind of bent, but bent a little bit on their first drive. They drove about the length of the field and, and missed a field goal. We got the ball and uh, put a pretty good drive together, and uh, defense kind of picked up momentum after that, causing a couple turnovers early, and and jumped on them really big in the uh, the end of the first quarter. and. Uh, I think uh, they were a little bit shell-shocked after that, and, and we kept our uh, foot on their throat and, and kept things rolling. So uh, pretty pretty good uh, effort by our guys uh, at the beginning of the game, and, and we just kept it going. Also, uh, given your younger kids' experience, there's a lot of a lot of uh, younger kids in there in the middle of the third quarter gaining you know regional experience, and that's something you, you know you usually don't get to see too often. Yeah, that, and uh, you know, there, there's quite a few people at the football game Friday night, and it does a lot for your your younger guys. Uh, you know, it's a in some respects a difficult part of the season when you make a little bit of a run because you know they they get beat on in practice a little bit and, and don't have the the game to look forward to uh, like they do when the regular season's going on. So uh, you know, got a got a little taste, got some younger guys with some success, success and. You know, having getting them to have that experience is, is only going to pay dividends in the future. And, you know, it's pretty it's pretty exciting uh, for a younger guy to get on the field on a on a regular Friday night, let alone a, a regional championship with uh, 2,000 people there. So, um, you know, I'm sure they'll they'll remember that and want to build build upon uh, that experience for their futures. Here you are again with your uh, uh, like second time in four years. Now you've been to semi state. Um, your program, it seems like you built your program up. It's looking good for you, Lee. Yeah, I mean, we want to, we, the goal of our program is uh, to compete for state championships. Um, you know, to, to say we cannot do it would assume that our kids are somehow inferior to those of other schools, which we don't believe. Uh, you know, you take a step forward, you have experiences in, in years past, and 
Uh, you, you keep on learning from mistakes made and learning from experiences, and you put yourself in a, in a in better position each and every year, hopefully. Uh, you know, with each success, hopefully you're building a little more momentum for the program, uh, getting a few more kids out for football, getting kids to work a little bit harder for football. And, uh, you know, that's the goal of our program is to, is to be where we're at and position to, uh, in position to potentially play for a state championship. And, and we feel that, uh, you know, if, if, if things keep going in this direction, we don't see why there's any reason why we can't, again, to, to assume any different would, would assume that our kids are inferior to those of other schools, and we don't feel that way. Stay with us. We'll be right back. We'll be joined by seniors Justin Turnbow and Jeremy Forker. In the beginning, we kind of slow, but you know, we came out around the third outing. We uh, smacked them around, stopped the ball carriers, what we got to do. Um, secondary. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They were the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. Hey football fans, do you want to keep track of Cherubusco High School football games? Log on to BuscoNews.com every game day and watch up to the minute pregame, halftime and postgame interviews with head coach Lee Etzler. Stay connected with your computer or on your cell phone. BuscoNews.com. When you can't make it to the game, it's the next best thing to being there. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County. BuscoNews.com and the Chair of Busco News. Welcome back to Lee Etzler's show. We're here talking with seniors Justin Turnbow and Jeremy Forker. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's good to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. Um, both of you are an important part of this year's defensive team. Um, Justin, tell us a little bit about this season. Uh, we uh, defensively, we've we've done pretty good. Uh, you know, a couple games we started slow, end up coming back, smacking them. Um, you know, secondary is doing their job. Uh, defensive line wise, we, uh, you know, coach says, punch man, get in your gap. We got better at it. Um, so defensively, I think we've done pretty good. Uh, Jeremy, you, uh, your speed from the outside, I mean, you're attacking the quarterback, you're constantly in his face, you got a couple sacks there, um, a lot of hurries on the quarterback. Well, sometimes I. Would. Run a little too fast, so the dog gets on it. It's about to slow down and tackle him. That's okay. uh, Jeremy, you're also on the offensive side of the ball. You, uh, you've caught uh, what, three touchdown passes. Uh, you had one last week against um, Hagerstown. You want to go over that with us? Well, it was our second series on offense, and we ran just solid. And I just happened to be open. Kyle's through a perfect, perfect pass. Uh, Justin, being a nose tackle, you're right there in the, in the mix of everything and every play. I mean, you're right there when a lot of times the season is in the backfield, you know, as a quarterback handing the ball off pretty quick up front there. Yeah, uh, I'm not jumping offside, you know, I'm usually uh, trying to get off the ball pretty quick. You've had, had a few of those too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I try to get off the ball pretty quick, you know, there's the advantage of getting through there and chasing down in the backfield. So, it, it's, a, it's a guessing game sometimes, but once you figure them out, it can be a lot of fun. Um, last week's game, uh, you guys won the regional. Um, <coughs> what's your thoughts on that for Chair Bosco and for the community? Justin? Um, I think it's a motivator more than anything, you know. We've only been able to do it three times, and it's good to be a part of the team that did it the third time. And uh, looking forward to going all the way, you know. But uh, just got to focus on this week and be ready for it. Okay. Jeremy? It's a small town, and we don't have very many people that can move on to something like this. So it's a big deal for the town. What was it like playing with, for uh, Coach Etzler and for Chair Bosco program uh, during your careers here at Chair Bosco? It was a 
a learning experience, that's for sure. You, you know, you don't meet too many guys like our coaches. You know, they're they're cool with you, and they'll know when something's funny and when something's not. You know, and they know how to joke around. Not like army sergeants, you know. And um, I respect them. Uh, pretty good people. But enjoyed it. Okay, looking ahead at this week, uh, Jeremy, what'd you uh, what'd you see on film about uh, Lafayette Central Catholic so far? They have uh, really good offense, and their defense is really, really good. Their line is like really big and it pushes back. Okay, um, Ju uh, Justin. Well. Coming from what he just said, the line's not really that big, but they're quick. Um, they'll they will push you back if the uh, defensive line's not ready. So we got to play aggressive up front. Secondary's got to do their job, stay on their man, um, run out of shotgun. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for the defensive line to get through there, but we can. Uh, just got to play more aggressive and get ready to get out there. We want to thank seniors Justin Turnbow and Jeremy Forker for stopping by today and talking with us about Busco football. Stay with us. We'll be right back to talk with Coach Hester about the Central Catholic game. We played real well up front. You know, Coach Steph been working hard all weekend. Getting the kids to understand that they're a damn good football team and you're not gonna, you're not gonna show up. I lost my job and I needed help with different things like prescriptions and energy assistance and stuff. So I contacted United Way. They was the first ones that I could think of. And I went to um, the agencies that they gave me a list of and got the assistance that I needed from them. Because I received the help from United Way, then I'm volunteering my help out to the community, giving the help that they need. The Lee Etzler Show is brought to you by the United Way of Whitley County, MoscowNews.com, and the Cherubusco News. Welcome back. We're here talking with Coach Hetzler about the semi-state championship game this Friday night at Lafayette Central Catholic. Uh, Lee, how's the preparation going for this week's game? Well, uh, today uh, was just scouting report stuff and conditioning, uh, you know, so uh, we got a we got a long week of practice ahead of us yet, but, uh, you know, attitude of the kids is, is pretty good. Uh, you know, we anticipate a very good week of practice. Uh, the kids are going to be excited about playing in the game. Uh, you know, tough task ahead of us, but, uh, you know, anticipate we're going to be pretty focused this week. Uh, with them being number one and uh, won the state last season, um, what do you look at when you, when you see that team on, on the films? Well, they're extremely talented. Uh, you know, the fastest team we've seen. Uh, you know, our focus of, of through the week is to get our kids comfortable with uh, this type of game setting. You know, our goal is to go in the game playing fast. Uh, if we play fast, we think we're a pretty good defensive team and, and think can cause, you know, some trouble for them offensively. Uh, on the defensive side of the ball, they're very talented as well. Uh, ranked first in the state as far as uh, scoring average. They only average giving up four points a game. Uh, you know, as you said, defending state champions are on a 27-game winning streak, which is the longest in the state. So uh, those things can get, uh, you know, potentially uh, overwhelming for uh, our guys. Uh, you know, I, I, I think uh, our attitude, at least what we've shown so far, uh, we're going to give it our best effort uh, and, and uh, make, them, make them beat us. So uh, it should be a good week of practice. And, yes, it's a tough task ahead of us. Uh, but it'll be fun figuring it out. We want to thank Coach Etzler for taking the time to talk with us each and every week. We want to remind you to watch the Lee Etzler Show every Thursday night at 7.30 right here on BoscoNews.com. I'm Don Hyatt, and we'll see you next week. This has been the Lee Etzler Show, brought to you every Thursday night at 7.30 by BoscoNews.com.